you running a D104 this morning, Tyler? Uh, it doesn't. No. I'm on my normal hi-fi. Uh, forgot to flip filters, though. Uh, is this fire caller testing sizzling sausages? Sausage sandwich. There you go. Oh, that was my NRAD 4K. Pathetic. Well, I forgot to switch programs. Here, I'll show you what I normally sound. This is the Please program, don't. and then this is the filter that goes with the program. So, like oh when I'm on 20 up. meters or 40 or whatever, this is the audio program I run. It's just about 36, 3700. I think it does really good for that bandwidth. It's as good as it's ever going to get. I'll open it back up. All right, there's the program, and then there's the uh, nothing in the 883. Very nice. Sausages in Colorado. Good sizzle. I had a lot of sizzle going on here. I was up the band, and uh, all of a sudden I started seeing fireworks coming out of the back of the KW matchbox. And uh, then I quit talking, and it was snapping about every second and a half from the wind static. That's horrible. Well, there's a lot of wire out there. If you add it all up, um, three, five, is about 700 feet of wire out there in the wind or more. You know, you could put a, uh, like a 270 K ohm resistor on your ladder line to ground and then that would not upset the line and just drain it off. Yeah, I thought about that, but, um, uh, but I, I, I didn't want to take all the, all the time to uh, wire that up. So I just, uh, switched tuners. Yeah, I would do it right at the back of the transmatch, right on those posts, just add a resistor and just kind of shove it into it, the ground slot. Yep, that would work. I don't know if I have any um, of that range around here. I'll have to look. Well, if you look closer, you could just come by and get some. There you go. And what happened to the mixer? Did you hear that person? Yeah, he said, what happened to the mixer? Are you talking to me there, Brian? Yeah. Uh, the, uh, the split, the split output rail went out in the mixer. So. John 15. What's that? Just, uh, comparing signals to Dennis. So anyway, I had no audio output out of the mixer to feed my, uh, DSP, Brian. So I had to bypass it. Oh, did it take you long to find it? No, I knew what it was pretty much right off the bat because I was getting, I could see I was getting output from the 2496 and I could see that I was getting input to the DSP-100, so it had to be what was in between those two. John Cat. My 882 is about, I don't know, at least nine years old. Actually, a lot of this stuff is almost nine years old. It's been working great. I, I looked in the little, uh, uh, the vents of the tube exciter, and I could still see them blowing in there. I got mine in 2003. So it's, it, it's aging. I'm looking at the front of my mic preamp, and I see the uh, LED glowing behind the tube. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Greg is the one that's got the nice preamp. Well, that... Do you, do you ever tell Tyler what preamp you're using, Greg? I, I already know. Oh, you do? Yeah, he, he knows. I the only know thing I'm using, I don't have a damn running. thing else on right now. That's it? Yes. Well, I was wondering why you sounded better than everybody else. I didn't really want to say anything. Ooh. Oh, yeah, right. Thanks for the Christmas present, but, uh, uh, no, I turned everything off weeks ago, except for the preamp, of course, but uh, I just have left it this way for quite a while now. Well, your audio is heads and tails better than anybody else on frequency, and I don't, I don't know, are you running narrow or something? Well, I was running narrow. I just switched over to the Anon here just a moment ago. 
Yeah, you're really loud and crisp and articulate and you have talk power. Everybody else is all woo, 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 sucked up mid range. Woo, 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 no talk power. Woo, 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 woo. Buffalo Muckets. I think I need to go back to bed. I'm hallucinating. Something's wrong. My brain's not comprehending correctly. <laughs> oh, boy. WB9DNZ. Well, Rich, we just lost our certification. Yeah, I think uh, Greg might be under the influence of some of those drugs, and he, he just doesn't understand what he's hearing. <laughs> Rich, you're allowed to hear I don't, I don't know what to think, K9 JSP. It's nice to be in the same uh, dog pound with Dave. <laughs> W980. <laughs> K9DXI. And KGAQ. WB9DNZ. Well, you're loud too, Dave. I mean, you. I didn't even include you in that comment because you're already, you know, articulate and clear. I'm already, um, uh, I'm trying to broadcast. Broadcasting. K9EYE, good morning. I can hear Pierre. Bonjour, uh, Le Pierre. Yeah. Good morning. I hope everybody's uh, hearing me okay this morning. <clears throat> got a little frog up my throat. Sorry about that. 15 over in Toledo. Uh, is my articulation okay? Well, it is here in Colorado, S9 here, up here. Okay, I just want to make sure I can set up okay. Actually, a little louder that time, closer to 5 over. Okay, thanks so very much, appreciate your help. You're running low power too, aren't you? <laughs> Am I running what? You're running low power, right? Uh, it should be like at 580 watts, uh, that's about it. Okay, well, around here I think that means low power. <laughs> That's QRP to Tyler. Okay, I'll go down even lower if you want me to. <laughs> no, I, I could hear you at any power. It's an ALS 600. ALS 600. I'm sure it's nice to hear you, Pierre. I'm hearing pretty much everybody except Brian. I'm having the most difficulty with Brian. Brian, where are you located? I'm in uh, Toledo. Holy Toledo, okay. Holy Toledo. I, I can't even really tell he's there. Oh, he's coming in really clear here. He's, he's fine here. He's just, you know, what, 300 miles further to you. Good morning, gentlemen. Billy. Hola, Bill. Mr. Bill, Mr. Bill. Caller. Hey. Brian, Hello. Dennis, Ty, Dave, John, Pierre, uh, Joe, Harry, Rick, and uh, and whoever. And I, I just moved in from 160, and I got to refill my coffee cup. I'll, I'll be back at 9 beer. Hey, Billy. Harry hey, back, Brian. Bill. Hey, uh, happy birthday. That's to, uh, Is that today? That's tomorrow. Oh, it's probably tomorrow, but I thought I'd beat everybody in the punch. You made me look at the date, though, Brian. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I'll be back at 9 VR. Social Security age, Bill. I know, and it's going to be coming, too, John. You betcha. I ain't going to be around long enough to wait to draw it at 66 and put fooey on that. At 9 VR. I don't think I'm going to wait either. I think I'm going to start drawing as soon as I can. Oh, absolutely. That's that's what you do. You don't wait. The moment you're you're eligible for Social Security, you take it. I've been taking Social Security since I was 38 years old. Uh, just waiting the three years uh, from uh, when you can take it, waiting three years would take you 10 years to recoup that money that you forfeited. So it's a scam. Well, they make it sound good by the 8% per year increase, but I'm sure if you look at the actuary tables, it works out for them. Yeah, I think it does. Uh, I, I, maybe I'll go back and redo the numbers, but last time I looked at it, it looked like it would take like eight years just to, just to break even from holding, holding on like two or three years if you didn't take it when you could. Well, 
do you want to take it when you're 62 or are you going to wait until you're 66 and a half? Well, I don't count on it, but whatever. Well, if you want to get it sooner, all you have to do is just uh, uh, throw some acid in your eyes and be blinded, and then you can click Social Security right now. Yeah, or develop ADHD. Oh. Or uh, or file for uh, 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 yeah. Oh, I can't remember now. Hey, Tyler, do you have snow on the ground up there? There is there is a dusting from like um, we we had something come through like a little dusting and yeah it did leave it's been so cold that um, there is still some dust on the southern exposures. You could even collect with PDSD too. Greg, are you still there? I sure am. Well, welcome to the I didn't get a chance to hear you when you, when you made your inaugural uh, transmission. It's a good, uh, wonderful and he's good morning. Good to hear you. Well, it's a good thing to hear you, Brian. I, I enjoy your voice among some of the best, so good to hear you. And I got a good copy on you. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. I think you're coming up, Brian. You're coming up, I think, signal, Brian. Am I coming up into you? You're, you're. It seems like you're coming up here. Yeah, well, you're uh, 25 at least. I don't hear anything out of Brian here. Oh, this thing locally just came up into me. I mean, uh, he was down a little bit, copyable, but he just he's right with everyone else here at the moment. Let me. I turned the dynamic up. Let me turn it up a little more. So what did he do? Did he go to his 870? Did his 990 blow up or something? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to get coffee. I'll be back, W980. Yeah, I am too. And I'm going to put a little Caroline's uh, creamer in it, KA0KA. -A. Brian, what radio are you on? Uh, this is the 990. 